ICOM are now able to offer you a completely new way of managing your interbuilding radio communications with the IP Advanced Radio System. Uh, we've got Alan Andrews to tell us more about it. Now, Alan, this looks like a normal radio handset, doesn't it? But it's very different. It does, but it is different. Um, this communicates using the wireless network within a building or external to a building. So the existing wireless infrastructure, which a lot of businesses already got in place? Yes, you can use the existing, um, as long as it's stable, um, or you can use the ICOM AP90M access points. Now, if you're using this radio with the headset that you've got plugged into it, what capabilities does that give you? When the headset is plugged into the hand portable, um, you have got the ability to work in full duplex. So that's like a telephone conversation? Exactly the same as a telephone call. Um, you can receive and transmit at the same time. It's also very secure, isn't it? Very secure. Um, WPA, PSK, WPA2, PSK and AES encryption. The encryption that you have on your normal wireless network is looking Correct. after this. Now these radios then are not talking directly to each other as in a normal radio system or through some kind of a voice repeater. They're talking to the wireless access points. What happens after that? They're talking to the wireless access points then it's coming into the IP1000C and being distributed. So this is the brains of the operation. So this is the piece of magic kit that then interfaces with a computer so that you can control the whole system. Exactly that. The computer software, the IP100FS, um, is your control station. How do we use this system then to control the network? The IP100FS can be deployed numerous times on the same system, so you can have numerous different controllers. Um, you can do individual, group or all calls, and different privileges can be given to different users. So for example, if I wanted to, from my desktop, talk to somebody in the warehouse, I can do that just from this unit here. Without actually having to have a radio, I can just have a microphone with my desktop unit and do it that way. Absolutely. So all I have to do then, Alan, is uh, select the radio I want to talk to. So I think it's radio number three and press the push to talk and hopefully I can talk to Callum in the warehouse, yeah? Okay, let's give it a go. Hi, Callum, uh, this is Bob up in the office. Can you hear me? Hi, Bob, yeah, it's Callum in the warehouse, I can hear you. Uh, I wonder if you can do us a favour. We're after a B13240. Can you have a look and see if you can find one for us? Yep, hold on a sec, I'll just go look for you. Yeah, I've got it for you, Bob. Thanks very much. If you could bring that up to us, that'd be great. Easy as that. And of course, I'm using a mouse controlled screen here, but you can get a touch screen, so that makes it even easier to select the different functions. There is another way you can communicate to the system as well, isn't there? Yes, correct. With the VEPG3, you can bridge into other technologies, like the telephone. So how would that work? If you've got the right extension number, you can dial into the system. So you could dial a particular radio? Absolutely. Oh, I think this one's for me. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What if you have different offices on different sites? You can use the IP1000C um, if you're all on the same network. If you're on different networks, you can dial in via VPNs. So you could be in different cities or different countries? Absolutely. What are the advantages of using this system where you're communicating with individual wireless access points in a building over a conventional RF system? Um, conventional RF systems, you on a big building, you might get black spots, dead spots. Um, with this system, you're looking at Wi-Fi pockets or bubbles. On a conventional, you may have a distributed antenna system down a lift shaft or a leaky feeder system to get into the tricky places. Um, with our system here, you're talking to access points, possibly on existing infrastructure. And if you have a, a hole in your coverage, it's easy enough to just put another access point there. With this system, if you get a black spot, you run a bit of cable with another access point. Using this interface, you get enormous flexibility in the kind of calls that you can put out to the various people on the system. Um, you can do individual calls, group calls, so your cleaning team or your maintenance team, um, or you can put out an all call to everybody. Um, from the dispatcher, you can also dial into a telephone system um, and connect that way. Um, you can also send predetermined text messages from your dispatcher or you can send um, free free text 
free typing messages also from the dispatcher. Um, if a radio is lost or stolen, you can, um, you can lock it so it cannot be used on the system and remote unlock it from the dispatcher. You can also use the remote monitor function. So if there's a disturbance or an emergency or someone's fallen, you don't know where somebody is, you can open up the microphone so you can listen into what's going on around them just so you can gather information. So what businesses does this system particularly suit? Um, we've spoken with a number of different industries um, where this has been deployed with amazing success. Um, we've spoken to warehousing, hotels, large skyscraper buildings, um, but some you wouldn't think of, um, sporting associations for their officials for use outdoors, um, and also to, to industries such as mining. That's a really interesting one because conventional RF technology has really struggled in the mining environment, hasn't it? The problem has never really been solved for underground RF. Um, it can be extremely expensive and can be very difficult to deploy. Um, we have a solution. We've only touched on a few of the possible businesses, haven't we? Yes, we have. Um, the possibilities are limitless, really. Um, anywhere where there's IP, um, anywhere where there's a need for communication, We've got the answer, so contact us and the team at ICOM UK. So, if you think this could be the solution for your business, Alan and the team here at ICOM are waiting to talk to you. And you can get more information by going to the dedicated microsite.